The Alabama basketball team is coming to Columbia. The Crimson Tide will face the Tigers tomorrow night, 6 p.m. at Mizzou Arena. It's the SEC opener for 10th ranked Missouri. Tiger point guard Phil Pressey named the Southeastern Conference Player of the Week today. Pressey scoring a career high 26 in that 66 to 64 win over Bucknell on Saturday. Flip is averaging 7.2 assists a game this season. That ranks in the top 10 in the nation. Busy week for local high school hoops. Tournament play tipping off tonight in California, Westphalia, Union, and at South Callaway. Boys first round play at the Bulldog Classic in Mocaine, where Tony Brandt's South Callaway Bulldogs open with Montgomery County. Tim Kroll for Montgomery nails the three, but South Callaway in the blue, a six seed inside to Trent Ellerman here. Later on, Ethan Ward scores. South Callaway wins it on the home court, 61-47, advancing to the semifinals of their own tournaments. Other first round play, Russellville and Harrisburg. The Bulldogs from Harrisburg in red, the two seed Brian Beringer. Nice move to the hoop here. Then it is Jacob Rudkin for three. Harrisburg led by just two at the half, 28-26. Jamal Tatum and the Russellville Indians taking the lead in the third quarter. Brendan Jackson, three-point play. Jackson with 19. Zach Voss for three. Russellville's Chandler Wolf led the way with 31 points as Russellville, the seventh seed, wins it 72-60 over Harrisburg. More South Callaway tournament play at the middle school, North Callaway, battling the Bearcats from Herman close all the way. Matt Hug, the three for Herman. Jacob Hobner drives in for North Callaway. Nice left-handed layup. They would go to overtime. North Callaway led by Zach Eads. The big guy had 22, including the game winner in the final seconds. The T-Birds beat Herman 62-61 the final. That's in overtime. Meanwhile, Cuba beat St. James. That's a first loss for the Tigers this year, 68-66. And it was another game at the South Callaway Tournament. New Haven wins easily over New Bloomfield. Tournament play in California. The boys begin tomorrow. Tonight, the girls turn. The host, Lady Pintos in white, taking on Fulton. Sydney Deacon follows this one in for the Lady Pintos. California's Malia Corell. Drives with the left hand here for the Lady Pintos. Cameron Ketting, a three-pointer as the Lady Pintos from California win it big, 63-39 over Fulton. And the annual Fatima High Girls Blue and Gold Tournament opening tonight in Westphalia. St. James ranked number one in Class 3. The Lady Tigers, no trouble with Eugene Ashley Marlott. There for three for St. James and our good friend Jeff Buthod. On the PA tonight, the Fatima AD. Nice pass, Amy Ditzelkamp. Number one, St. James, 75 45 winners over Eugene. And the Shamoy Owensville matchup at that same Fatima Blue and Gold tournament. Miranda Brandt, one of the top players in the area, leading the Lady Pirates from Shamoy. Brandt with the buckets and the assist here to Paige Nolte. Shamoy wins it 51 to 38. They move on to the semifinals. Helias at the Union Tournament beats Washington 55 to 36. The Lady Crusaders will play St. Charles West on Friday. Moberly back at the California Tournament beats Boonville. And from the Fatima Tournament, Blair Oaks wins over Lynn. It was Fatima, the host school over St. Elizabeth. Our high school basketball play of the week is brought to you by our good friends at Central Methodist University in Fayette. Not many games last week, but one incredible performance by Blair Oaks Falcon Brett Voss, who made nine three-pointers, seven in the third quarter alone. Blair Oaks winning over Warsaw, 73-50. Our play and player of the week brought to you by Central Methodist University.